Hey, many fish. 24th December 2017. And yeah, this is everywhere. A couple people have thrown it my way and asked my thoughts on it. So I'm taking a look at it. And quite honestly, it's, it's a rocket because I did watch this entire launch. You know, from beginning to end, you can watch it blast off. But then what's, what it starts doing up here is a whole nother ball game. This is just some wild, crazy stuff. However, knowing that it was a rocket, knowing that it comes from a bunch of liars and deceivers, my best guess is they are definitely trying to pull something off here as far as, because they do claim it to be a success. It's not like there was an accident. They didn't claim a malfunction. And if you were to ask me, just from a layman perspective, this thing that separates there and starts pulsing like that, I would guess that it was some kind of thruster that came apart from there and is just spinning, you know, uh, aimlessly, like out of control. But they claim the whole mission was a success. And this thing pulses multiple times in weird directions and weird patterns. And some people said that that looked just like a bullet going through water, meaning the firmament. Uh, I can't disagree with that. That's what it looks like. Other people said it looked like a sperm or a fish. I can't disagree with that either. I mean, that really looks like a sperm. But it was a rocket, you know. But what caught my eye right away when I first started looking at it was iridium. The Iridium mission, 18th, 666, posted at 9-11. The thing launched on the 22nd, 1222. So Iridium, I have to look real quick. What is Iridium? Iridium is an element, okay? It is the 77th on the, el uh, it's the atomic number, 77. And that clicks in my mind right away. 77 is the line to Jesus from Adam. He is 77th. Okay, so I see that. And then I'm looking at the rest of it, and there are some numbers that are pretty weird, uh, but I didn't want to go crazy because there's a ton of numbers here that, you know, you can make anything out of this stuff. But just the fact that it was 77th kept my interest a little bit. So I had to look at the word itself. And this is actually two words, er, idiom. And an idiom is very interesting if we're talking about reproduction because that's what it is. It's a suffix used to form names of plant or fungus, especially those involved in reproduction. Now, isn't that just something? Idiom, er, you can't make this stuff up, folks. Er is actually named in the Bible. The children of Er. You got to read this. All these sons of Judeo, the heads of seven. Okay, but right here it says Shippum also and Hupum, the children of Ur, and Hushum, the sons of Aher. Now you can look all this stuff up. I have not done a huge study on this. I did notice though that Shippum is also known as serpents, meaning the same as serpents. Very strange. Ur. I don't know the exact lineage of Ur. That would be an interesting study, I'm sure. But you can find this, Rehoboth Ur, in Genesis 10, 11. Also in Chronicles. Uh, 1 Chronicles 7, 12. Very interesting study. So Ur, who are the descendants of Ur that are, you know, the, the uh, especially those involved in reproduction? And we're looking at this thing that looks like a sperm. And we know these Dark powers and principalities are hard at work with all of our hard-earned wealth to do these things and bring in their gods. Because that's what they're doing, folks. I'm sorry. That's what they're doing. Er, a watchman, city, vision. Very interesting, man. It's the second city built by Asher or by Nimrod. Yeah, I'd say there's something to this. I don't know what, but I'd say there's something to it. Mysterious lights in the sky. But Elon Musk says everything's good. 
everything's a go. You're all crazy if you think we're up to something. So just shut up. We're just installing the next generation of global satellite constellation called Iridium Next. Oh, yeah, Iridium Next. So I'll put all the links I got here in the description. Very interesting, though. Y'all enjoy your Sunday. Peace and grace to you. Seek Jesus. Good day for it. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 